Good day, Lobos. It's the week of November 19th, 2007. We hope that all is well for you this week. Hi, I'm Johnny Zamora, and this is L4TV. Learn, Learn laugh, laugh, Lobos life. And I'm Inti Rodriguez. If you've been thinking about this year's and last year's yearbooks, here's Victoria Corona with the yearbook sponsor, Miss Malchow. Thanks, guys. I'm here with Miss Malchow right now. So what's happening with this year's yearbook? Right now, we're working on our spreads, and we're just getting things covered, like we just finished all the fall sports and things like that. We finished the cover and the end sheets, which are what goes on the inside. And so we're just basically getting the book together, working with the theme, and everybody's just working really hard. Okay. And is there an estimated arrival time? This year's yearbook will be here in May. Our yearbook will be completely finished in March. March 14th, and then we get to have a party. But um, basically, we're not doing a fall delivery. We're doing a spring delivery. So if you do a spring delivery, you finish your yearbook in March, and it delivers in May, not like last year's yearbook. They did a fall delivery. OK, and last year's yearbook just arrived. So students who already bought it, when and where can they pick it up? You can pick it up. Easier way to pick it up is during your lunches. A, B, and C lunch, they'll be out at a table. Then you can just sign it off if you bought for it. If you want to pay for it, it's $70. Cash, check, money order, we'll take anything. And you can buy it right then. So. And how many yearbooks are without pre-order? Probably about 150 to 200. OK. And how much are last year's yearbooks? $70. And what are senior ads? Um, this year we're starting a really cool new tradition at Chavez. It's senior ads, or you can call them remembrance ads, personal ads. It's where if you're a senior and your parents want to buy you an ad, you can get together and you can do a full page, half a page, a fourth a page, or even just like a little business card size. And basically you pay us and you can design it, you can color on it, whatever you want to do, and we'll put it in the yearbook. And it'll be a great way for you and your friends to get together and have your own section of the yearbook. Like you don't have to go through the yearbook this year and be like, where am I, where am I, where am I? Because you know that you're going to have a place where you and your friends can write, I love you, Susie, whatever. So it's a really cool tradition, and I hope that it really heats up here at Chavez. Thanks, guys. I'm here with Lucas. And Lucas, how did you like um, last year's yearbook? Last year's yearbook was really cool. They had the new MySpace theme layout, and, you know, it's colorful, it's extravagant, it appeals to everybody, so everybody should buy this yearbook. Okay. And how's um, this year's yearbook coming along? Uh, this year's yearbook is coming along real good. Um, we have a new deadline, so instead of it coming out next year in the fall, um, we're going to have it in before school even ends. So uh, everybody's working really hard to do it. Our first deadline's coming up in December, so it's going real good. And what's it like being on the yearbook staff? Is it stressful, anticipated, exciting? Yeah, it is stressful, especially because I'm one of the editors, and I'm making sure everybody does what they have to do. It's Yeah, it is really stressful, but it's fun, though. We make it fun. All right, thanks. Back to you. Thanks, Victoria. Hopefully, you'll get your hands on a copy. Hey, guys, have you been checking out our football team lately? If not, we're here to keep you informed. So here we have Irene Berry for you all. Hi, guys. This is Irene Berry, and I'm interviewing the varsity football team. Um, I'm Gregory Dixon. Number two, play cornerback. I'm Eric Abrego, number 14, play linebacker. Jamal Johnson, number seven, play wide receiver. I'm Brian Aristi, number 27, running back. Okay, well, I'm just going to ask you guys a couple of questions. So how does it feel to beat Westside for the first time as being seniors? It means a lot, really, because since my freshman year, they be beating us, so it means a lot for the first time. Well, for one, you know, uh, it's our first time meeting Westside, you know, and we, we six and four made history for the school, so it felt real good. It felt real good just to make history and leave more behind us. It just feel good in being six and four. Okay. Well, how do you guys feel from coming back home to a tragedy, and how are you going to get focused for the next game? Well, we're going to put this behind us and take it out on the other team we're going to play against. Yeah. We just got to stay focused on this game, what we got to do, stuff like that, you know. Everything work out how it should. Okay. Um, so what college are you guys going to? I plan on going to Mexico State. I plan on going to Kansas, Jayhawks. I plan to go to U of H. Thank you, Irene. We'll hopefully report the good news from the playoffs soon. Ah, my ears are burning. Someone must be gossiping. Hey, I texted you to meet us in the 
bathroom. Yeah, I was in a taxi bag, but my teacher took out my phone. What, she didn't give you your phone back in the end of class? No, I have to come after school and pay $15 and have my parent pick it up. Oh, man, I wanted you to send me that Fergie song, you know, Big Girls Don't Cry. What, you don't even care that my phone was taken up? But I really wanted that song. Now we have what you've been looking forward to, In Your Face. Thanks, guys. I'm Megan Baker, and this is In Your Face. And this week's In Your Face question is, what's your favorite Thanksgiving dish? What's your favorite Thanksgiving dish? Macaroni and cheese. Thank you. What's your favorite Thanksgiving dish? Apple pie. Thank you. Uh, mashed potato. Sweet potatoes. Stuffing. Um, broccoli cheese casserole. Cranberry sauce. It tastes good and it's sweet. Sweet potato pie. Stuffing, as you can tell. <laughs> the ham, roasted ham, I guess. I like the dressing. Cheesy macaroni and pecan pie. Broccoli and cheese casserole. <laughs> Cheesecake. <laughs> dressing. Cranberry sauce. El arroz de mi abuelita. Uh, pumpkin pie. Mole. Um, the pumpkin pie. It's stuffing. All kinds of pie. Menudo. Some cornbread. Uh, I like mashed potatoes and gravy. Cranberry sauce and stuffing. Dressing. I like turkey and mashed potatoes. Turkey. Turkey. Tamales and turkey. 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 Tamales. Um, turkey. I love turkey. Dish. Um, tamales. Turkey. Tamales. Well, I like the turkey on top of the breadsticks and all this stuff. It goes in the turkey. Uh, tamales. Burritos. Church's chicken. Uh, shrimp fried rice. I like everything. Thanks, guys. Back to you. Have you been thinking about going to the movies lately but not really sure about what to see? Well, here's Jessica to help you with your decision. Hi, my name is Jessica Carilla, and this weekend I saw We Own the Night with Joaquin Phoenix and Mark Wahlberg, directed by James Gray. This movie is about a New York nightclub owner who tries to save his family of cops from the Russian mafia drug dealers. I know. I give this movie the rating of three and a half stars out of five. The reason being is Eva Mendez is in this movie. She's pretty and all, but there's like unneeded scenes in the movie. But other than that, it's pretty cool, and I think you should check it out. Back to you guys. Thanks, Jessica. We, help, we hope we helped you with your decision. For our finale, we have Renee with Look What I Can Do. Thank you, Inti. Welcome, everyone, to another great segment of Look What I Can Do. This is your host, Renee Andrade. On this week, we went around asking students to show us a few of their body talents, and this is what they have to show. Check them out. Hey, Kitty, what body talent can you do? Those are the great tricks students at Chavez High School had to show. And stay tuned for more great Look What I Can Do talents. Back to you guys. Thanks, Renee. Well, we look forward to seeing you next week. This is L4 TV, and take care. <laughs>